What's going on, guys? Welcome back to WDYD CSP. What do you do as a central steel processor? All right, guys, I want to go over the world of tip protectors. You know it, those little rubber plastic things that you put at the end of your instruments to protect them, or even that little index card, right? So let's get right into it, guys. So there are many different styles of tip protectors, right? Um, most commonly is an as of lately are the index style tip protectors but there haven't been forgotten hasn't been forgotten that we have the little silicone rubber type tip protectors right they come in various shapes sizes um, uh, for different functions so forth and so forth you have the little double I call the little double prong barrel one you have the little single barrel ones for like little skin hooks or little um, uh, uh, elevators, um, you have some cylindrical ones, um, square ones, flat ones, all kinds of types. Um, you have clear, you have colored ones, um, but it has been noted that the clear ones, um, they're trying to get rid of the clear ones and going more to the color ones because the clear ones get the ten, tend to get lost in the tray or um, hide in there and um, especially just little small ones you can forget to put them on an instrument take them off an instrument it might fall on a patient so they're trying to go with the color ones now you also have the cardboard style ones and um, this brand here has the little plastic in the front um, I just need to note that the cardboard stock cardboard style tip protectors are only validated for peel packs guys they are not to be placed in rigid containers and or wrap containers all right um, for reasons being that it maintains moisture and that little plastic cellophane tape it acts just like the peel packs and can retain moisture so they have not been validated for wraps or rigid containers the other thing is these little silicone bad boys they haven't been validated for low temperature sterilization. They're only for steam sterilization. So check with your vendors, um, check with your companies to see if they have an option for low temperature. These are steam temperature validated only. Now, important thing about these tip protectors is that they all should be vented for true penetration of steam. All right, so these little square ones, um, best utilized for um, wheat landers. So sharp wheat landers, um, you want to grab the proper size. There are different sizes of it. You don't want it to be too big. Like this is a big size here. That's way too big. So you want to go to either the medium or the small. In this case, the small, you make sure that the tip protector is not snug because remember during sterilization, it's going to have a little bit of shrinkage, but not much. But you want to put your um, wheat lander in there and you want to prop it open so that it can be um secure so this is how you utilize this little square one um it has the hole in the front there so you can get full steam penetration and again we utilize tip protectors to protect our end users next you have this little double barrel flat cap one these are good for like scissors um or hemostats um just like the uh allisons or the oshners um the cokers the ba uh the babcocks Babcock's probably not so much in this flat one, um, but your hemostats, your uh, your Halsteads, your uh, Hartmans, these are pretty good, but they're only good if they're not on stringers, right? You don't want to use these when you place them on stringers. There's really no reason to put them on there. If they're on stringers, this is if you have to lay them on the bottom of the pan um, for those house trays. Now, these little two little double barrel ones here are really great for um, delicate forceps, um, such as bipolars um, that you want to protect the tips of them if they're pretty sharp um, lay them down in the bottom of your basket or in your tray um, so they're really good for that um, again make sure you have the appropriate side you shouldn't be fitting them on there really snug all right this um, cylindrical one with the little slot in the middle um, this one I've seen is best used um, for this instrument coming up. This is the Gelpy retractor. I found it best to use these on the Gelpies. Um, you can use them for like robotic arms for the tips there. Um, they slide right over the ends there and they fit pretty good there. Um, but I've seen them best used just like this, just for the Wheatlanders. You put it right in the slot, protects the sides there. Um, you open them up a little. 
they hold right in place really really good okay you can also use if you don't like using this in a cylindrical one you can also use the little square one that you use for um the wheat landers um but you'll have to place it on diagonally um, so let's get the right size here depending on the length of the jaw there so it's the medium size here you can just open them up diagonally and they'll work just as good just don't open it up that it penetrates through the actual um uh tip protector you don't want to do that all right so this little flat one here this is a uh, single one again if you get them in color is best um but these are great for osteotomes gouges chisels um key elevators again just make sure that it slides on it's not too snug if it's too snug it's going to be really hard to take off it should slide off pretty easy but not so easy all right this is great for um osteotome so this is how you use all your various um plastic slash silicone i'm not sure what material this is um i want to say poly something but it's some kind of plastic right um, it has like a rubbery structure to it. Um, so let's get into these tip protectors, these cardboard style tip protectors. Again, guys, these are only validated for peel packs. The ones with the plastic or the ones without it. They have only been validated to be used in peel packs. Now, they're great to use with scissors. You can use them with hemostats. Any instrument that you want to keep open. Now, they have smaller ones like this. This is better for... Um, like osteotomes, um, single instruments, single um, uh, uh, functioning instruments, nothing that's multi-jointed or anything like that because, again, it's not uh, feasible to keep the instrument open. It's great for forceps like this. Um, so there's a variety of uses. You can actually put scissors in there, but look what's going to happen if you put some scissors in there. I mean, really... If you put the scissors in there, it's going to close, right? If you put that in a peel pack, it's going to close. So this is not good for scissors. This is the type that you want to use for scissors. And the way to utilize is you go under the first slot and then under the other, right? Right through the other. It goes under the plastic, not over it. You open the instrument up as wide as you possibly can without damaging the package. Okay, that little tongue there goes in between the shafts and then it gets tucked under the very top there. So it keeps the instrument in the open position and it won't lock. Just make sure that when you grab a peel pack that it's wide enough that you're not putting pressure on the side seams and that it's long enough so that the top is not sticking where the seal is at, whether it's heat sealed or not. All right, guys, so this is just a little tutorial on tip protector. As always, stay true to yourselves. Keep it 100. Continue educating yourself. Till next time, peace.